behind me stands one of the most spectacular trees in not just Woodvale's region, but all of Perth itself. The reason for it is one of the largest Maori trees in the metropolitan area. It has a deep, deep history spanning around 250 years, but that could be cut short. Recent debates about whether the tree should be cut down about safety reasons may be the reason for this tree possibly being cut down. Recent concerns of the safety of the tree has caused a mixture of emotions throughout the community. With the tree being located next to the school, the ever-increasing angle that the tree is leaning at is currently the main issue. Uh, do you believe that the tree is at risk of falling and endangering the lives of students and property? This is a very difficult question for me because if I did think it was a danger, I should clear this space out because if it falls, it's going to fall right on Mr. Simpson's classroom over there, which would be bad. So no, I don't think it's going to fall. I think we've had an arborist out to check it and they have assured us that that tree is very safe. And I hope they're right. <laughs> should the tree be cut down? Yes. <laughs> Why do you believe it should be cut down? Because it's like 45 degrees hanging over my classroom and every time we have a storm, I'm paranoid. I'm going to hear a loud crack and we'll all have to go diving under the tables, but... <laughs> um, following on that, do you think the tree should be cut down? It would be a great shame to see the tree cut down. It is a fantastic landmark in our community. People can see it from all over the place. The kids at school always refer to it. So no, I think it would be a great shame if such a proud and glorious tree was to be cut down. To me, it's just fear because it's just, it's hanging precariously over my classroom and I'm worried that in a storm something's going to happen. I don't know, I've spoken to council guys who inspected it one day a couple of years ago and they were saying they thought there was a disease, disease in it or something. So I'm worried something's going to crack and it's going to end badly. So yeah, we have told the Ed Department and everyone, so don't know what's going to happen. With it. What does the tree mean for you? What does it mean to me? Yes. What does the tree mean to me? Um, not much. It's got it's got a name. It's named Oscar. I know the kids named it Oscar. Um, doesn't. I remember being told it was one of the tallest trees in the suburb for, uh, for someone a while ago. But um, it's all the wind and yeah. The tree is on the city of Junlup's heritage list, a collection of trees located within the city's boundaries that are looked after and protected by the local government. Um, so if the tree does become too dangerous, whose decision would it be to cut the tree down? Uh, in reality, I don't think you'll ever see the city cut this tree down. There isn't another tree like it uh, anywhere on the Swan Coastal Plain that I can think of. Uh, so any limbs that become dangerous will be removed. Uh, any limbs that break off will be pruned back to source, even if the tree dies. and. Obviously every living thing dies at some point, uh, you would see it cut back uh, and just made safe and the logs would be left in place. So why was this tree chosen to be put on the heritage list? Uh, in many ways this tree is the reason the heritage list came into existence. Uh, so the city of Joonla was formed in the late 1990s. Uh, long before I was mayor I was the city's uh, tree contractor, I was their arborist. I was sent down here about 18 months after the City of Joonalup was created and asked to prune this tree which was near the primary school. I brought a 26 metre cherry picker down which would get me to the top of just about any tree in the City of Joonalup and I reached the first two branches. Uh, that was when we realised we had something pretty special here. Uh, we hadn't realised that before. I informed uh, the City of Joonalup admin and the fence behind it that uh, the fence around it that you can see behind me now was installed soon after that and a project was established uh, to preserve this tree uh, in partnership with the local school. Fast forward a few years, I was elected to Joonalup Council. I introduced a motion to, in to bring in a heritage tree register for the city of Joonalup. Uh, in my mind, having been in the original team that first noticed this tree and how special it was, this was the reason why. Uh, today there's about 80, actually there's nearly 100 or, 100 or more trees that sit on that register, but this was the first one. There is not another Mary tree like this on the Swan Coastal Plain that I can think of. You have to go down to the southwest around Bustleton Margaret River to find a Mary of this scale. With members of the community being concerned about the safety of the students or other members of the community, 
and the cost to repair the damage if the tree were to fall down. The city of Junlop needed to present their case about how they're dealing with the tree. So with the tree being lo located next to the local school, if the tree does look like it's about to fall or become too dangerous, do you believe the best decision is to cut it down for the safety of the kids? Um, no, it doesn't really need to be cut down because the arborist will check the tree and any limbs that are seen as a, as a high probability of falling will be um, removed as, as needed. Generally speaking, you won't need to remove much because the tree does have fencing around it and it is checked regularly by arborists at least once a year for significant trees like this. Um, so what preservation attempts are the City of Joondalup currently making to make sure that this tree doesn't get to a state where it needs to be cut down? Uh, generally speaking with these with natives like, such as this which are grown naturally in the southwest of WA. Um, also it is also fenced off so it's less likely to be disturbed and climbed or vandalised. But other than that we've, we've with natives such as this, um, really the climate of Southwest WA is what they've evolved over millions of years to grow in. So really the best thing to do is largely leave it alone and keep an eye on it. And if, obviously keep an eye for any diseases, but generally speaking, yeah, they're, they're fine left alone. For some of the Woodvale Secondary College students and other students that have attended this primary school in the past will remember this tree. It was commonly known as Oscar the Tree. It was used by some of the teachers to educate students about the natural habitat and the heritage of this area. It was also used for a bit of fun as well, to help the students interact in activities in PE, lightning carnivals, or even just in-class activities. But not just for the school. This community has used this tree as a sort of a heritage point. It's one of the last standing trees since Woodvale was first established. It is a big part of the community. So what does this tree mean for the community and the school? Well this tree, as I said, is a fantastic landmark. People can see the school by seeing the tree. You can almost follow the tree to get here. The kids use it. It's a vital part of their phys ed program. Oscar the tree, as the kids know him, um, is something they run around, they run up to, they run across from. We say, you know, you've got to run as far as Oscar. He's do you think the tree should be cut down? No. 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 Yes, 100%. Why? Because I like trees. Because I grew up with it. Because it is a historical figure within our neighbourhood. Our whole childhood that tree has been there. It's leaning on a 45 degree angle about to collapse onto this classroom. Like, what's good about that? Because ever since I started going to North Woodville in primary school, it's been a part of how I've seen the school and it definitely helped me get through it. It's a bit confusing to understand, but it's kind of like a, a therapy dog almost. Like, it's been there for so long, I am, I'm used to it being there. If it would get chopped down, I feel like all the primary school kids there now, they're learning, like, ability might go down a bit. He's a person, almost, this tree within our school. So, yeah, I think he's very important. He's, and what I like about him is one student that doesn't grow up and go away. He stays with us.